Welcome back, everyone. It is the start of a new week, and we've already got some big stuff going on. We're probably seeing one of the biggest roster changes in Overwatch in a while, at least. Or at least, theoretically, we should be seeing some roster changes. Neptuno, Custa, and Sideshow were apparently accidentally streaming, and they may have leaked some roster changes. So, yeah, I'm going to play that clip for you guys. Uh, I'm going to play it. It's a few minutes long, so I'm just going to play the specific parts of it, of course. But I will have the link in the description in case you guys want to watch it for yourself. I think, yeah, I think the only team that was potentially interested in me was Dallas. But then they ended up going with Ganser. So I think they just, like, my money is broke. But I heard they traded OG, right, to yes, Glass as well. Yes, yes. Yeah. OG and Space, right? Yeah, OG and Space. OG yeah, for big but, but how do you build a team around OG and Space? Like, if you spend... Yeah, the I, I heard the space. money... I, no, I, I haven't heard the money. I heard the money was, like, intentionally not said. Because it's, like, a number. So they start off by saying that the Gladiators are going to be signing OGE in space and building the team around them, and apparently space got a crap ton of money for signing with them. But that's just the first change. I got to show you guys the next clip. Gamsu. Apparently Gamsu's on 240. I heard he's. Who's Gamsu? Who is Gamsu? What? Gamsu's Shanghai Dragons. Who is Gamsu? But you, you are fucking main support, right? Yeah, but they oh, they but traded he's, OGE. He's like it, they've already spent money. That's what yeah, that's spend. what I mean. Is like they they ah. they because they, they they don't want closer. No, they apparently, but they wanted. Apparently, they wanted to trade closer for me, and then also pay the money. But Valiant doesn't want closer. Closer's worth too much money, and Valiant's going full budget. They traded everything. Yeah, I heard that. Like, they're like this cheap. Like, yeah, they're, they're literally I, anyone that was I, worth I, money, they're I, trying I asked to Valiant, are the guys doing trial? And they said we don't want you because we're going cheap. I'm like, you don't even know if I want to. If I if I would get. They're, they're not paying money. anyone over like fifty or sixty k next year, apparently. And the, and the, so that's why they Brady and Crib I think went to Toronto. I think they both Ooh. trade uh, Toronto. Who's yeah. into Brady and Crib? Uh, agility's in Crib. So there's a couple things that they said there. If you guys caught it, number one is that Gamsu is being signed under the Dallas Fuel with a two hundred forty thousand dollar salary. Uh, number two is that Closer, who is also on the Dallas Fuel, it was supposed to be traded with Custa, who is on the Valiant. But Valiant said that Closer was way too expensive, so they decided to not do that instead. And Custis says that Valiant is going full budget next year. He says that they're not going to be hiring or not be getting any players and paying them over $60,000 salary. So kind of a massive difference there. But most importantly, the most important change that we saw from this is that Agilities and Kareev are going to the Toronto Defiant. So I'm going to play another clip for you guys. But, um, but yeah. I'm getting... Do you think Toronto's going to make moves to like buy... Or I've heard they. I heard they heard they shine shuffle already. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's what I heard as well. I heard they that makes the most sense. I, I think the only going... way of saving that organization is by buying so Toronto. Toronto. Canadian. They did by you, know, you know, I I asked Toronto if they would try me out. Yeah. But they're afraid of like I'm toxic or something. So really, they're so afraid, so they're not. <gasps> wow. Whoa! What is oh. going on? Please don't tell me you're streaming. Oh, oh you! You God! God. So, did you guys hear what they said there? Apparently, Sure4 is supposed to be going to the Toronto Defiant as well. So, I think Ivy and Logics might have to find new homes because, you know, they've already got Mangachu there. So, Mangachu, Agilities, Sure4, all on the same team. That is three more Canadian players on the Canadian team. So, I think that is kind of kind of huge especially with you know these three players who have a huge backing in terms of fan service or fan base so they've got all these people that really like them and it's just a bunch of like big people all on one team so i think this new toronto defiant is going to be huge uh, apparently neptuno th he said that the toronto defiant didn't want to try him out because they thought he would be too toxic so that's unfortunate for you <laughs> some people think this video is fake too i don't see why they would try to fake this unless they were just like elaborately trying to troll us or something which is it's impossible but there's a good amount of people that think this video is fake and i i don't really agree that those accusations should be made <laughs> so these moves are huge we are getting some of the best canadian players in the world all on one team and it happens to be a canadian team and you know i just imagine that canadian fans everywhere are pretty happy about this I'm not even Canadian and I think it's a super cool change, so that's really cool to see. Leave a comment th down below though guys because I would like to know what you guys think of the change and I would like to know if you guys think the video is fake or not because some people do think it is staged. So let me know. Uh, I'm going to head out for today though guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Be safe. Take it easy. Um, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>